I'm illegal. What does it matter? If I graduate high school, I'm going to be scrubbing toilets. I can scrub toilets with a high school degree or scrub toilets without a high school degree. So what does it matter? And this is a sixth grader who told me this. He had already lost hope. Some colleges don't even accept undocumented students, or if they're accepted, they have to pay out-of-state tuition. For community college, it's more than four times as much. And for a four-year college, it's about three to four times as much. And just financially, most of them just can't do that. As a teacher, you teach any child who comes in your room, and you teach them the best of your ability and hopefully the best of their ability. There's a thousand reasons not to succeed. All they really need is one reason to succeed. I think for many of them, knowing that they're able to go to college would be that. And if you cut off that one hope, then all those other negative factors crush them. The DREAM Act proposes to allow undocumented students to pay in-state tuition to be able to get scholarships that maybe otherwise they're not eligible for. And it puts them on a path to legalization because otherwise there's no way for undocumented students to just become legal. It's been around for at least 10 years. I think a lot of people didn't ever think it would come out of committee. But it did come up for a vote finally and then just to be five votes short. There were a lot of tears that night. I try to tell them that, you know, what if the DREAM Act happens in four years? If you make straight A's through high school, when you're able to go to school, they'll still let you in. You know, still prepare today for what, hopefully, would come about later. I just don't want them to lose hope.